I am going. Not so fast. The money we'll talk about last night, please can I have it? You did not receive the notification? I have transferred the money into your account already. Is all right, let me check my account. I don't get you, is that what you transfer to me? How do you mean? I transfer the money you asked me. Was that not the amount you told me, yesterday? Yes, that was the amount, but I expected you to add more, in case I needed to get some stuff at home. After I am done in the shop. Come on Natasha, some time be considerable, I just gave you a huge sum of money, to pay your goods, that will be delivered to you today, at the shop. And you are still demanding for more. Please, I don't know why you find it difficult to give me, what I always ask you. Look at my friend Jessica, the husband do everything for her, he even bought her the best car. She is everything to the man, the husband does everything for her, she gets everything she wanted. Even your friend Benjamin, give the best gifts to his wife, always. But, here you are, you find it difficult to give me money. Please Natasha, stop comparing me with Jessica husband, neither my friend Benjamin. The man is very wealthy, he has his own company, Benjamin has his own business. But, I work under a company, whom I receive monthly salary from, so I cannot compare myself with this people you are talking about. Is that what you have to say? Yes. What do you want me to say? Beside a child of God are not supposed to be comparing his or herself to anyone. Because God said, in 2 Corinthians 10 verses 12. For we dare not make ourselves of the number, or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves, but they measuring themselves by themselves, and comparing themselves among themselves, are not wise. Please, you need to change from this attitude, it is not a good. What attitude? Because it is you, it concern it is not a good attitude. Enough for the talk. I have had you, let me go to work, we will talk about this later. Just imagine what he is saying. God said those that compare themselves to others are not wise. Because, it is not him, that wear the shoes, it is easy to say. If you know the shame, I face every time, I come across my friends, that is really living well, you will not be saying what you just said now to me. For him to even do something, over my car, since I have been telling him. He keep on giving me excuses. Anyway, let me be going to the shop. I will continue to trouble him, until he start doing that, which I wanted. I just hope, this people keep to their promise, this time. Not, what they did the last time. Because if they repeat, what they did to me last time, I will stop buying goods from them. Hello Jessica. Is this not what I was telling Matthew? Just imagine the wonderful car Jessica is using. She is always happy, but look at what I am driving. And this husband of mine is telling me, God said those that compare themselves with others are not wise. That should not really be my business, all I know, he is going to change this car for me, I don't care how he is going to do it. Why did I even marry such a man? At what time, I should be expecting you? I don't really know, but mention you wait for me. Certainly I will come, once I am done at the office. Is all right, I will be waiting. When will this man change this attitude, of women? Is all right my pretty, see you later. All right, I will be waiting for you. What is going on? When will you stop this attitude of carrying different kind of women? Another lady again, just left your office now? Are you not tired, of this kind of lifestyle? Sleeping with different women? Are you alright? What is your problem? And why are you shouting in my office Jessica? Is this what you have to say? What do you want me to say? You caught me with another woman, and so what? Are you lacking anything? I gave you everything, you needed. So what is your problem? I can see you are out of your senses. <laughs> you must be very stupid, for saying that to me. You have no right, 
to monitor me. I am not your boy. I gave you everything you wanted. So stop monitoring me. Next time you come to my office, without calling me first, you will not like what I will do to you. Live my office, right now. What kind of marriage is this? You keep on seeing him, with different kind of women. I am tired, I have everything, but no joy, the man I married to, hardly come around me. He keep on saying, he give me everything. Because, he give me everything, I have no right, to speak again, whenever, I see what he is doing that is wrong. What have I gotten myself, into? Who see me think I am happy? Not knowing I am the most miserable person on earth, I smile for others to think it is well for me. Oh God why me, please help me, to change this man. Hello Natasha, how is business today? Katie, business is good, it is nice seeing you. What is wrong, you look very tired. Natasha, tired is understatement, I am exhausted. Oh sorry, would you like to sit down, for a while? Yes, thank you. What is wrong? Why are you this tired? Natasha, I have been working since morning, at home, the oil we are using to make the products got finished, this is why I am here. What are you making, that you need the oil for? Are you serious? You don't know what I am making. No, I don't know what you are making. The oil, I always buy from you is to add to the other products we are using for the making of our soap. The liquid and the block type. After we are done, we supply to all our customers, along other items we are making. Are you serious? Yes. This is our business, this is what me and my husband is doing. Are you telling me you don't have the idea of our business? No Katie, I am just hearing for the first time. Your husband is a friend to Benjamin my husband, he did not tell you what we do, for a living. Matthew told me you guys, have your own business, but he did not give me, the details of what you produce is all right you now know what we do now yes thank you for telling me but is that not too stressful for you Katie it is very stressful Natasha believe me we even have two people we employ that is working with us but is still very stressful I am telling you you are lucky look at the shop your husband opened for you and you are here quietly relaxing selling your goods. Do you know, I have told my husband, to open a shop, and let me be the one selling the goods, him should employ one person in my space, let the be the one making all the products at home. When I am the one selling in the shop, but he refuse. But why is he refusing it, that is a good idea. I don't know, why he is refusing it. I tell you Natasha, I am frustrating every day, because I am always exhausted. Oh sorry for that. Do you want me to get you something to drink? No, don't worry, I have some drinks in my car. Is all right then. Please, get me five bottles of the oil, and let me be going. All right. Oh my god. It is said, the more you look the less you see. God is right, he said we should not compare ourselves to others. I can now see the reason, he said that. Because, we don't even know, what others are passing through. Seeing them in a big house and a nice car, those not mean all is really well for them also. I just need to apologize to my husband, he is really try for me. He always support my shop with his money, just to mention I am happy. Instead of me to appreciate him, I keep on complaining. Oh God forgive me. I just hope this text door is still open. I need to get another battery for my phone. Please madam, do you have a phone battery? Yes ma, all our phone's batteries, is right in that session. Alright thank you. Is this not Natasha? Yes. It is Natasha, good I met her. Hello Natasha. Hi Jessica, it is nice seeing you. Where were you going, when I saw you this morning? I was going to my shop. And you where were you coming from? You know as a big man wife that you are, I hardly see you. Not a, I was coming from the doctor. I have something in my stomach, I have been battling with, all this while. But I just keep it to myself, 
there is this medication I was using, to treat it. The good news is that, the medication I was taking, really worked for me. Because the doctor told me the thing is almost gone. This is why you saw me today in that happy mood. Wow, I am happy for you, this is a good news. Thank you Nada, I am very happy as well, because this is one of the reasons, I refuse to add another baby to my child. Many are think it is because God did not bless me with another baby. But, it is not through, I chose not to have another baby, because of the risk of my life. But I know very soon, I will think of having another baby. This is good news girlfriend, congratulations, I am happy to hear this, may the name of our God be praised. Amen Natasha. This is really my reason why I wanted to see you. I thought of calling you. What happened? Is there any problem? Nada, you have been my very good friend right from school. Yes, I know this, talk to me what is wrong? It is my husband. What happened to your husband? My husband is always after women. He exchanged them like clothes, and whenever I confront him, he's always pissed. And when he is pissed, it is either I get a slap from him. Seriously? Yes Nada, this is what I am going through, who sees me thinking I married to a wealthy man, but it is only me, that knows what I am going through inside. Oh sorry Jessica, that is very bad of him, even raising his hand on you. Please I want to come to your church, and talk to your pastor. Let him pray for me, and my household, I want God to help me restore my husband, from this attitude. Wow, this is the best decision you are taking, don't worry, you will see our God will restore him. See you on Sunday. Is all right, I will wait for your call. All right Jessica, have a nice day. My eye have open, it is good to be contented with what you have. I have a caring and a lovely husband, who love and respect me a lot. I keep on saying nonsense to him always, thinking others are better than me. Oh Matthew, thank you for being there for me, thank you for loving me. I can now see, it is good to marry to one who fear God. The fear of God in him, will make him, love and respect you. Just imagine what Jessica is going through. Man, sleeping with different women, if you confront him as a wife, it is him that will still slap you. How long can Jessica tolerate such a man? Thank God I did not make the mistake, of destroying my marriage, before I find out this truth, I need to amend my ways, and apologize to Matthew, it is true, we are not supposed to be comparing ourselves to others. Because we don't know, what is happening in their lives. Honey please I have something, to tell you. And what is that? Is it about the money issue in the morning? No it's not. Is alright, come and sit down, and tell me. Matthew, I am very sorry, for everything. I don't get you, why are you sorry for everything? What is going on? Is there any problem? Nothing is going on my love. There is no problem. I have seen the reasons why you told me this morning, God said those that compare themselves to others are not wise. Our God is right. Please forgive all my attitude, I have been putting on, all this while. It is good for one to be contented, with that which God has given to one. I am surprised Natasha, is this you that is talking, or it is your spirit? Honey, it is me that is talking. Wow, this is wonderful, today is my happiest day. Thank you my love, for you being there for me. Thank you for all you have been doing for me, I am grateful. Oh my goodness, I can believe what I am seeing. Is this really from your heart? Yes, my love from the depth of my heart thank you. Oh, thank you Jesus, I am so happy. Thank you also, my beautiful wife, for you being there for me as well. You are welcome my love. Thank you for watching this video, please be contented with what you have, and do not compare yourself to others, because you don't know what others are passing through, in their lives. And we encourage you to join us, with the International Director, Pastor Paul Ricca in Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide, where the undiluted messages preach, messages that will change your life, messages that will prepare you for heaven, if your go is to make it to heaven, join this last day's movement of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, before his final coming in the rapture, Holiness Revival Movement Headquarters, 
is behind Federal Government College, Kwali FC Tiabuya, Nigeria. Come, Jesus is waiting for you. Please subscribe, like, share and leave a comment. God bless you.